Hey everybody, thank you for watching. My name is Rick. Today we're going to do a video on whether or not the seven seat Tesla Model Y is a good option. I'll show you around and you can kind of make that decision for yourself. Um, and I want to say thank you to Karen who had asked a question about this uh, on my last video and kind of sparked me to go ahead and do this video and hopefully it'll help some other people. I know there are other videos about this, but I'll show you around. You can make that decision for yourself. Um, had I ordered this car brand new, I would not have chosen this configuration but it does add some value to the car. It's a $3,000 option. So someday down the road, uh, when I sell it, um, that may be what somebody's looking for. Uh, and really the only big deal is you do miss out on the little cubby back here that you would get if you didn't have this option. So let's take around a look around the car and hopefully it'll help you decide if this is a good choice for you. Let's talk a little bit real quick about what you give up in the back here, having the seven seater so we'll put these guys down. Um, you have your normal cubby underneath here, which is very deep, uh, lots of room there. So nothing really changes there. What you do lose is there's a cubby that sits where these seats would be. And it's pretty, it's not super huge, but it is something that you're gonna be missing if you have the uh, third row. Another thing, uh, is that you have this bigger hump right here that I don't believe is there with the five seater. So for someone like me who would want to sleep back here from time to time, this could be an issue, but I'm actually going to do a separate video on that. I'm going to throw my Luno life mattress back in here and just see how it works out. So that's the big thing. Uh, everything else back here is pretty similar. Um, these armrests are here too, which I'm guessing are probably not on the five seater as well but uh, otherwise you know with the seats folded down you have a ton of space back here still so you're not really losing cargo volume necessarily other than maybe the the height here but um, if you need the seven seater for small kids car seats just for that occasional transporting of uh, a couple extra smaller people you could certainly get away with it but it's definitely not for you know I'd say probably five, four and above. My wife's five, three and she fits back there, but you know, her head still kind of gets pretty close to the glass on the top of the roof. So probably not the greatest option. So this is me back here. I have the seats all the way forward. Just for an example, you can see, even if I could fit back here, and again, I'm five, nine, my head hits the glass. So there's no way this is gonna be comfortable for someone my size. Here's a quick look at the gymnastics you have to do to get in and out. Not super easy, but very doable. As you can see, you have to contort yourself just a little bit. Uh, and that's as far as the seats go up. And the seat situation is actually kind of cool the way it works. Um, so these obviously move back and forth. Uh, I did have my wife in the back here and with the seat in a reasonable position and she's 5'3 and she actually fit in here no problem. But um, like I said, I'm only 5'9 and it's not, uh, there's not a lot of space there. So let me show you. So I could reasonably sit like this. Um, I've got some room here. I've got plenty of room up top. And then let me show you what it would be like with me in the very back now. I'll get back there again so you can see it and I'll leave this seat back. So in fact, I'm not even gonna try to get back in because you can see there's literally no room for me to sit back there if I have that uh, second row seat in a reasonable spot. One of the other things I wanted to check is this seat right now is as far back as it would go. I have the other, the third row folded down. And I wanna try it with the folded, with the seats up and see if it goes back any further. And it doesn't. So that's as far as the second row goes back. So even with the rear seats folded down, you still get the full advantage of the second row. That was a quick look around my 2021 Model Y, the seven seat configuration. 
Uh, hopefully that'll help you in your decision if you are considering one or not. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, you can leave those below. You'll also find my email below. And I appreciate you watching. See you next time. Thank you.